Hi guys. So um, this week's video is going to be a little bit different and Katie and I are going to start um, actually journaling kind of what's been going on in our lives from week to week and putting them in our video so you guys can get an up close and personal look of what we're thinking, feeling, how we get out of our ruts. We just thought that this would be the best way to give you guys a close up of what our life looks like. We just got back from an amazing mastermind weekend in Vegas and each quarter we meet up with our business mentor along with other mastermind attendees and go over our business plan and kind of in depth about how we're feeling our business is going, the things that we're struggling with personally. And this time we got more specific and we talked about our core four pillars. That is body, balance, being, and business. And what is important to you inside of those core pillars and what you can do to really reach those goals that you're setting for yourself within those um, pillars. And so one of the things that stood out to me is self-care. And I know a lot of you struggle with that as well, especially if you're moms, you have kids that you're running around, and it's just really hard to t find the time for yourselves. You're not alone. <laughs> I don't even have children, and I feel like I do not take enough time for myself. My business is my child and I love it so much that I'm putting all of my energy into it, wanting it to grow, but sometimes I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. So this week, as soon as I got back, I started, I made a goal. Every single night, I was giving myself 30 minutes to read in whatever book I wanted. It could have been a health book, a self-help book, a fiction book, whatever it is, 30 minutes, and that is non-negotiable. That's just time for me to sit down in, a, in the quietness, really, and kind of unplug from the chaos and not have a worry in the world just for 30 minutes. And it also doing that before bedtime helps me kind of turn naturally into my sleep cycle because um, I'm not looking at electronics and that light isn't throwing my cycle off. So it's definitely a good way for me to also wind down for the night. Some things I plan on continuing to do within these next few months is I'm going to be getting a massage at least once a month. I am so bad about this. I love massages. And my girlfriends always buy me one for my birthday and that is the only time I ever go. And it's it's just because I don't take the time to schedule it and make it happen. But those, it it's so crucial, especially for how active I am. Getting that massage it has to happen. So that's another thing on my book. I'm going to start journaling. I'm going to be writing in a journal every single morning. Writing in a journal has never really um, felt that natural to me and it's because for some reason when I'm writing in it I feel like someone else is going to be reading it so I'm writing it as if I'm writing a story. Like this is going to be published, someone's going to read it so it's like da 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 and I just feel like it's hard for me to really um, connect with my true self in journals, but I'm gonna try to break through that. So I'm starting off with just five minutes a day, going to be writing in a journal, even if it's just doodling. I'm gonna be getting out my thoughts on paper every single morning. And then a lot of those entries that I'm going to be making, I'm going to be posting in videos here every single week. So you guys can see exactly what I'm going through. I'm someone who has a lot of ideas and thoughts in my head, so journaling allows me to get those down. But it's also going to be used as a practice to better my self-love and the voice, you know, the things that I say to myself. I am very hard on myself, and I can coach my clients all day long about how they're so amazing and beautiful and that they need to love themselves because they do. I see their greatness, but when it comes to myself, I am very hard on myself and I'm like, why did I do this? Why did I eat that? Why aren't I doing more? And so the journaling for me is going to just be a way for me to, you know, start practicing more of those affirmations and it's going to feel weird. I know it is. I've tried this before, but this time I'm sticking to it. I'm going to just keep doing it even though it feels weird and that's the most important thing. Our negative talks come to us and pop in our mind so easily because we 
Think them so often. You are continuously, every time you think something negative about yourself, that's basically you rehearsing and practicing saying that thought. And the more you rehearse and practice, the more natural it becomes. But the awesome thing about that is you can turn that around at any moment. You can start saying those positive affirmations to yourself and turning those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. And it is going to feel so weird and so foreign at first, but the more you do it, the better it's going to feel and the more you're going to believe it. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown on the videos that you can be expecting from us. They are definitely going to be more personal. Um, just giving you guys an in-depth look at our lives because as coaches, I think that it can seem like things are so, come so naturally to us and they're so easy to us, and they're not. We've taken so much time putting into place those habits and doing them over and over again. Um, so it seems like it comes so naturally to us, but it definitely took work and there are moments when we struggle and I want to share that with you guys because I want to show you how I get through it so you know how to get through it when you face those challenges as well. And of course, I love trying new recipes and cooking, so I'll be including those in my videos as well. And we've had so many people tell us that they love the workouts that they can do at home that don't require equipment or just something easy they can do in the gym. So we'll definitely be including those as well. But the preface to all of our videos are going to be these journals. So I hope that you like it and stay tuned for more. Okay, so I worked out earlier this morning and uh, I did a bunch of lifting and at the end did like a cardio finisher, which I will be posting up the print on that right after this little clip. So you guys can try that at home. But I wanted to also say another great thing or another great way to make sure that you have self-care is to keep your relationships happy and to show the people that are in your life you care about them so for us date nights are super important so we're going out to um, dinner right now and to have some fun workout it was super uh, cardio heavy which is not my forte which means I need to do more of that but I just wanted to you know say to you guys that coming back from vacation even if you have the best vacation you like stayed on track during vacation like Vegas we were on top of it when you get back home it can be so hard to get back into your normal routine you have laundry to do groceries to buy like you just feel a little overwhelmed and it can help so much having someone hold you accountable. Katie and I are that for each other. You know, if I don't get my ass into the gym, she's gonna call me out on it and vice versa. And so if you're feeling like you're struggling getting into the gym every day, find a workout buddy, find an accountability person that can call you on your shit and they're gonna make you go into the gym. So when you get back from vacation, what's the easiest way for you to get back into routine? Um, I find that my easiest thing, it might seem super simple, but it's just doing the work. It's just mm -hmm. um, almost going on autopilot and just doing what I need to do to get it done. And I know like when I come back, everybody at the gym knows I've been gone. And so if I'm not showing up, they're gonna be like, you know, where she what at? The hell? And so having that accountability, not only from Mallory, just but from the community of my gym mm -hmm. helps a lot. And then I also have a nutrition coach. So when I get back, it's actually really hard. Like 
I'll have more cravings and things like that because I've kind of been eating, you know, not foods that I wouldn't normally eat. And so it's just having that person to answer to and keep mm -hmm. me on track and just doing the work. And I think after like a week of just putting in the work, even if it's not fun, um, I'll, I'll feel back to normal and back on track. Yep. So get back to it. One other thing I wanted to mention, starting September, we're going to be doing another four week challenge. And we want all of you to be included. You've had summertime to have fun and barbecue and maybe, you know, your healthy food options kind of went out the window and that's okay, but fall always kind of feels like a refresher. And so we thought, what a perfect time to do another four week challenge, get everyone back on track, feeling better. We want everyone involved. Flex fuel client or not, we're gonna be going over new tips and strategies every single week that you can incorporate, incorporate into your life. And by the end of the four weeks, you're gonna feel so much freaking better. I'm not even kidding. So I'm so excited about that. Stay tuned. Look for that in September.